Cunningham or Jaden Ivey? Who had a better rookie season? Anthony, I'm going to turn it over to you first. Uh, who had a better rookie season between these two top five picks? I, I got to go Kate Cunningham just because I think Jaden Ivey, he started off really hot, um, kind of hit a little bit of a rookie wall, and then he got out of it really quickly. But I think Kate Cunningham's body of work, it was just more consistent. Like between February and March, he was putting up 21 7 and 7. And we just saw that out of. Uh, Jaden Ivey, I believe, in March and April, where he started, you know, putting up 20 point per game averages in March. But to me, I, I think Kate Cunningham, we kind of got robbed, obviously, with the ankle injury and in preseason. But I think overall, this is going to be a all star backcourt next season, in my personal opinion. You got two guys that can get you 20 points a game, can pass the ball. And I'm really excited for the future of this team, honestly, man. Same. Mike, yeah. what about you? Who had a better rookie season? This is tough because Cade obviously came out and you knew from the jump he was going to be the star and this is his team. But I feel like Ivy, just due to the fact that he stepped up and with Cade, we had a consensus number one. This was a guy who we knew was going to be one, was going to get the team. Ivy came in, had to be the one in the season he was expected to be the two. And not only that, he showed us that we made the right pick and also showed us some skills that we didn't really know he had. Like his playmaking was a lot better than we expected. His, his shot at times was better than we thought. And with with Ivy, I think that's why I want to give him the edge because we don't have FOMO. We didn't watch that Pacers game last uh, two nights ago and see him go against Matthew and he go, ah, oh, we screwed that one up. You know, I'd rather have Benedict Matthew. No, I, I would like Jaden Ivy on my team, and that's what I feel. How, how, are you, how are you feeling, Lance? You know, this is tough for me because, like, I love Cade Cunningham's game, and, like, you yeah. definitely see the potential with him being, like, the guy on this team. But Jaden Ivey, I think I got to give him the edge just because of the development as a playmaker. And really, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, as a spot-up shooter, just the overall yeah. um, development of his game from game one to game 82. I mean, I think Cade had better overall numbers than him, but I got to give the slight edge to Jaden Ivey just because of the development of him. And, you know, I mean, he played, like, I think it was uh, Detroit Kool-Aid. He had uh, tweeted at me, something that he plays like every game, like it's game seven of the finals. And that type of energy and that type of play is just incredible, especially on a losing team. I mean, they only won 17 yeah. games, but to go out there and play like every game mattered, that says something and it sets a tone. So I just got to give it the slight edge to Jaden Ivey, but it's not by much, but I'm going to give it to no. Jaden Ivey. But I oh. also, th oh, real quick, I also think uh, the reason I'm giving it to Jaden Ivey is because the expectations for Cade were so much higher and, yeah. you know, in Jaden Ivey, I mean, I was saying he probably averaged like 13 to 15 points a game for the season. You know, I wasn't – my expectations were kind of low. They were much higher for Cade because he was just much more of a polished player coming in. So, Jaden Ivey surprised me. So, I'm going to give it to him. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad we got both of them. I'm really yeah. happy. <laughs> oh, dude, 100%. And then you on top of that, you got Jalen Dern and then another mm -hmm. top five pick coming in this year. It's an yeah. – like most fan bases would be so fucking jealous of us right now. <laughs> It's just incredible the guys we get to watch for the next few years. Yeah. Let's still, let's it's keep fun. the count. What's that? No, I said it's just funny. Like we we say that other fan bases are jealous, but you go on you like scroll on your Twitter account and you would you would think that we just have a bunch of bums on our damn roster because you got Pistons Twitter like arguing each other. No, Jaden Ivey sucks. No, Cade's a bust. I'm like, dude, what the hell are you guys talking about? Yeah. Like, you you have an all star potential backcourt, and they're in their 20s and they're still in rookie deals like. When they're getting extensions, they're probably going to be in the $200 million range. So chill the hell out. That's crazy.